Yeah, I went to the bingo. And, eh, uh, I won a dog. No, I didn't. I was watching Humdrum, that's right. With Molly Meldrum. But I felt like I'd won a dog. I like Humdrum, but then I'm crackers. <laughs> Well, here I am in London, outside Buckingham Palace. The uh, flag's not up on the flagpole, so that means the Queen is not in her uh, residence. But the Queen of Pop arrived in London this week in Madonna and her husband Sean, and they are here to finish their film called Shanghai Surprise. And believe me, they've already caused drama. Apparently, when they arrived in Heathrow, the limousine ran over a reporter, and there it was, emblazoned in headlines the next day in one of the daily papers, Our Man Maimed. Well, forgetting the maiming, the Rolling Stones also arrived in London this week. They were given a great tribute by the Grammys, and we went over to see this, uh, this uh, award presented to them, and we got an interview with the Stones, and that'll be coming up in Countdown in the next couple of weeks. All right, the big news in London at the moment, and the big group in London, is someone that's just shot into the charts out of nowhere, and they're called um, Sig Sig Sputnik, and they've got a great song called Love Missile. Go on, Bruce! F go on! F-111. Oh dear, it's called F. I, I think they're turning radical here. Uh, why don't we go to the UK top five? Watch those eggs, Molly. Number five in the UK from Rocky IV Survivor, Burning Hearts. Number four, the old Barry Ryan original Eloise, done by the Dam. Number three, Sue Pollard, starting together. The number two song in the UK this week, Diana Ross, watch out for her later on in the show, Chain Reaction. And the number one song in the UK this week, when the tough gets going, the tough gets going, or something like that, Billy Ocean. Back to Molly. OK, well, here we are uh, down in uh, the deep part of London, one of the best mining bands in the world, I'm told, and here they are here. Great song, it could almost be the theme for uh, country practice or something. Uh, could we cut the music or the tape? Oh, well, fellas, I didn't believe it was you. You yeah, know, we the best mommy yeah, band. What, what? You were playing that? Yeah. What actually is that wonderful that is, piece of music? Uh, that Happy Feeling by Bert Camfrit and his orchestra from an album called The Fantastic Music. Really? Bert Camfrit. And why are we hearing it with the metals? Because, because uh, we're, we're in England, so we're changing our, our music. Right, yeah. I see. We didn't think they'd understand <laughs> the Australian stuff. Actually, uh, just before I came here, I was uh, pelted by a couple of eggs by outside Buckingham Palace. Anything to do with you lot? Uh, New Zealanders, uh, yes. people, I think. Uh, oh, right. they, throw, yeah. they throw eggs at everybody. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Now listen, uh, on to a more serious note. Um, recording time for the mentals. When's this happening? No oh. comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got time to record anything at the moment. Right. OK, yeah, next question. Problem. What, uh, what are you doing here in London? We're playing two shows right. this week. And then next week we're playing some TV in... Playing Holland, TV. Right. playing TV, right. <laughs> yes. and then we're going to America. We're coming back here. We're going to game. America and, and Canada and shaking hands and having getting a few free record company lunches. Right, which is the name of the game. Now I don't want to offend you lot, but I'd like to congratulate your. Um, lead singer here on uh, Concrete and Clay this week, zooming up the charts. Well done, Martin. Yes. Good Thanks, on you. Guys. Yes. Good Good man. Thanks, guys. Good Good man. Thanks, guys. Good boy. Thanks, guys. Right, uh, Martin, would you like to uh, throw to the uh, US Top 5 and I'll leave you to rehearsals with Bert. Here comes the US Top 5. Thank you, Martin. Mentals and Molly. Number 5 in the US this week, Sade and the Sweetest of Taboo. Oh, yeah. Get down. Mr. James Brown, my main man and living in America, number four. Ha! Number three, Sarah Starship. And it was recorded on the lead singer's farm. We all know that one. Oh, cleaned up at the Grammys, Whitney Houston. How will I know that she loves me? Maybe she might give me a call one day. Kiri, Mr. Mr., number one in the US this week. Let's find out where Molly is. He's somewhere around the place. OK, that was the US Top 5 for this week, and uh, thank you to the Mentals as well, and thank you, Gavin. OK. Oh, well, here I'm at location again. There's been no egg throwers around. They're turning very strange around here, believe me. The Mentals are not the only group in town. Uh, the models are here are recording at the moment, and apparently they're very happy with what they've already put down. 
And the uh, other big news is that Colin Hay was cited in the streets the other day, formerly the lead singer of Men at Work, and apparently he's looking for a record producer. Now, I don't know whether that means that Men at Work are back in business. Uh, on the home front, uh, as far as charts are concerned, In Excess is still getting tons of airplay here, but haven't made the charts as yet. While talking about the Aussies, let's have a look at the Australian top five. OK, Molly, number five in Australia, Eurogliders. Can't wait to see you. What a song that's been for the band. Number four, The Mighty Oils. The Screaming up the charts all over Australia, Martin Plaza from Mental As Anything, Concrete and Clay. The Venetians, great success with so much for love on you guys, Rick Swin and the boys. And the number one song in Australia on the US to, on the Australian Top 5, Pseudo Echo, Love and Adventure. OK, thank you, Gavin. That was the Australian Top 5 for this week. Uh, I'm reporting now from New York, not from London. Still pretty cold, but I've got some really hot news to tell you. Elton John will be touring Australia this November, December. He'll be touring with his band, including Ray uh, Cooper on percussion. But more important, he's touring with a 96-piece orchestra, and that's the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. And that's going to be some concert. We'll keep you informed of when the tickets are on sale. But meanwhile, just enjoy the fact that Elton John is touring November, December. All right, on the American side, Diana Ross has already had a big hit with Chain Reaction. It's becoming a big hit in England, and it looks as if it's going to do the same on the Australian chart. So here it is, Diana Ross with Chain Reaction from New York. Go, Diana. Right now, with her UK number two smash, time to grab mum and dad and Watusi around the lounge room. Here's Diana Ross and Chain Reaction.